Let's first discuss what is a Cody build. So basically a build is when someone, usually a developer, customizes the Cody installation. This usually includes a customized interface that generally will improve the user experience. Now there's a bunch of different builds out there and a lot of them are pretty good. So I'm gonna show you today how I'm gonna install my favorite build. Now before I tell you how I install my favorite build, I'm gonna tell you why I actually don't like builds. So there's really just four categories of what I want in Cody. We have movies, TV shows, UFC fights, and when I really don't wanna pay attention but I just wanna have some background noise, I want live TV. So in order to fulfill what I want from Cody, all I really need is three add-ons. We have Exodus for my movies and TV shows. We have UFC Finest for all of my fighting events. And we have Goodfellas for when I wanna watch live TV. So when it comes to me personally, I prefer just to install the three add-ons that I need because those are the only three add-ons that I'm going to use. This is gonna keep my Kodi installation super light and if there is any updates to those add-ons, it's only three of them. So when it comes to my personal use, I don't like builds. But again guys, I'm just a dude on the internet. My opinion doesn't really matter. But I know a lot of you guys want to experience all that Kodi has to offer and that's really where a build comes into play. And whenever I help a family member or a friend install Kodi onto the Fire Stick, I always do install a custom build and it really just gives them a better experience. So now that we got that out of the way, go ahead, turn on your TV, launch the Fire Stick, and let's get started. So this is the Fire Stick's home screen and before I install any build on Kodi, I always like to wipe everything clean and start completely fresh. Now there are add-ons that will give you a fresh start on Kodi, but for me, my preference is just to do a factory reset on the Fire Stick, reinstall Kodi, and go from there. So if that is the direction that you would like to take, this is how you do a factory reset on the Fire Stick. You wanna take your remote and move to the right under settings, then press down and move your remote to the right to where it says device. Click on that, go all the way down to where it says reset to factory defaults. And like I mentioned, this is gonna wipe everything clean. And once your Fire Stick is reset back to the factory defaults, you're gonna have to go back in and reinstall Kodi. Now I do have a full detailed step-by-step -step installation video on how you can install Kodi onto the Fire Stick. So if you need help with that, definitely watch that video. And I will link that video as well as all the information I go over in this video down in the description. So here's the fresh install of Kodi Krypton 17. Now if you followed my installation video, we should all be on the same page. And the first thing that we need to do is go into our settings. So if you look at the top left of your screen, you're gonna see a cog symbol. That is our settings. So use your remote, go up and select the cog. Next, we need to choose File Manager, which is on the bottom right. So again, use your remote and select File Manager. We want to add source, so move your remote down and select that. And where it says None, you wanna click on it so we can enter in a URL. And this is the URL that you wanna type in. All right, so that's http colon double slash repo dot stvmc dot net. You wanna press okay. Now use your remote and move down and you wanna enter in a name for this media source. So I'm just gonna type in spins and select okay. Then you wanna move down, select okay again. So now we have spins added to our file manager. Now use your remote and click back. Click back again until you hit the home screen. Next, you wanna use a remote, move down to where it says add-ons. Click on that. Then again, on the top left of your screen, you're gonna see a box icon. Use your remote and select on that. Then we wanna go down and select install from zip file. And Cody's gonna prompt you about installing unknown sources. So go to settings. 
and where it says unknown sources, make sure that's enabled and it's gonna have you confirm. All right, so move back again, click install from zip file, then we wanna choose spins. Now, if you guys don't see anything underneath this folder, then you guys really need to double check the spelling of the URL that I mentioned earlier. Most of the issues that you guys are having is due to incorrect spelling. So make sure you spell it correctly and you should see this option underneath the spins folder. And if you do, go ahead and select repository spins TV. Click on that. And on the top right of your screen, you're gonna see Spins TV add-on enabled. Once you see that, use your remote, move up to where it says install from repository, click on that, then move down to Spins TV. Next, you wanna go down to program add-ons, click that, then select Spins TV. And this is where it's gonna give you the option to install. So go ahead and select install and just give it some time and let this add-on install. And what it's trying to do now is install a bunch of different add-ons that's gonna make this build work. And once the add-on is done downloading, you're gonna get this pop-up message from Spins TV and basically it's just gonna show you how you can contact them if you have any issues with the installation. So for us, we're gonna just go ahead, move our remote to the left and click dismiss. Next, there's gonna be, this is kinda of hard to see, but it's gonna have another pop-up menu. Now, what you wanna do is use your remote, select the middle option where it says build menu. Click on that. And just give it some time to load. And if that pop-up menu is still on the screen, all you have to do is click your back button on the remote and that'll clear it out. And once you're in this menu, this shows all the different builds that you can choose. So what we're gonna do is go down and select 17.0 Spins TV Fury Krypton version 1.2. Go ahead and select that. And again, give it some time. Then go down and select fresh install. It's gonna ask you if you wanna restore Kodi back to the default settings. Now, our Kodi installation should still be at the default settings, but let's just go ahead and continue with that just to make sure that we're all back on the same page. So click continue. Now it's gonna ask if you want to install Spins TV. So go ahead and select OK. And another pop-up will ask if you wanna download and install. Select Yes, Install. And here's the installation process, so just be patient, give it some time to install. And once the installation process has completed, another pop-up menu is gonna show up, and it's gonna tell you in order to save the changes, you have to force close Kodi. So go ahead and select OK. And it's gonna take you back to the Fire Stick home screen. So what I like to do right now is just to ensure that Cody did force close. So what we can do is use our remote, go back to settings, go down, then select applications. We wanna move down and select manage installed applications. Find Cody, click on that, then it's gonna say force stop. Just go ahead and select that and that's gonna ensure that Cody did force close. All right, now you could go back to the home screen of the Fire Stick. And before we launch the new build, I wanna move Cody 
back to the front of our apps and games. So use your remote, go down until where you see your apps and games, move all the way to the right where it says see all, click on that. And this is gonna bring up a list of all the applications on the Fire Stick. So use your remote, go down until you find Cody and then use your options button and that's the one with the three lines. So click on that. And, and on the bottom right, it'll bring up a few options. You can select move, move to the front and uninstall. What we wanna choose is move to the front. This is gonna bring Cody all the way to the front of your apps. So if you go back to the Fire Stick home screen, you will see that Cody is in the front line of your apps and games. So every time you wanna launch Cody, it's just gonna be right there. So at this point, we can go ahead and select Cody and it's gonna launch Cody with our new Spins TV build. So go ahead and click on that. And here we go guys, so here is our new custom build. So as you can see, this definitely is a more refined interface than the standard Kodi build. So what we wanna do is when you first launch this Kodi build, just give it some time to update and enable all the add-ons that was included in the installation. So just let it do its thing, wait maybe five to 10 minutes and let everything just populate before you start messing around with all the menus. All right, cool, so once all the add-ons have been enabled, have been updated, and everything is populated, now you kind of mess around with all the menus and see what this build actually has to offer. So if you look on the bottom of your screen, you're gonna have a few categories. You're gonna see movies, TV shows, live TV, sports, and et cetera. This is where everything is categorized. So as you can see right now, movies is highlighted. And you could go to the right, that's gonna select TV shows, and depending on the category that you select, you're gonna see in the middle of your screen, you're gonna have a, a few previews of what's in that category. So if you wanna look up into that widget, just use your remote, click up, and this is gonna bring you to that menu, that, that middle sub menu. So if you wanna scroll through all the list of TV shows, you can do that, and then you can go to the next page and continue on. So if you wanna go back to the categories, use your remote, press down, that's gonna bring you back up to the category. So you could select live TV, sports, kids. Now if you go back to movies, if you notice on the very bottom left, there's an arrow pointing down. So what you can do is press down, and on the top of the screen is gonna bring more submenus. So this is where you could browse by year, actors and actresses, new releases, and so on. So you can play around with that. If you wanna go back to the categories, press down, it's gonna bring you back down to movies. So I'm not gonna go over everything just because there's too many options. Uh, what you really should do is just kinda of play around with it, go through all the menus, to all the different categories, and just kinda of see what you like. So this is pretty cool. It does have a lot of options. It is a clean looking build, and this is really gonna give you that premium interface that a lot of you are looking for. But that's all there is to it, guys. Go ahead and just install this, play around with it, and I'm, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. So the Spins TV build is my favorite custom build, and all of my friends and family that I install this on really do enjoy it. Now there are a ton of different builds that you can choose from, and a lot of times it's very difficult to say which one is actually best. So the Spins TV one is my favorite, but if you have suggestions on something better, definitely let me know. But I hope this video has helped some of you get more enjoyment and a better user experience out of your Fire Stick. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.